Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn and Clear Exams with me. The objective of today's video is that I would like to show the question paper of BPC and the subject code is 20 MCA 19, total marks is 100, duration is 3 hours. Answer any 5, uh, I'm sorry, answer 5 full questions, choosing 1 full question from each module. Okay, and if you are new viewer to our channel, do subscribe it guys. Okay, now let's begin. Module 1, 1A, one explain the structure of a typical C program. 5 marks, 1B. What are the data types available with C? Give valid examples. Okay. Again, it's for 5 marks. 1C. What is the purpose of printf and scanf statement? Explain formatted printf and scanf along with examples. Okay. Straight away, it carries for 10 marks. Okay. Or 2A. Define an array. Explain declaration and initialization of one dimensional array with an example. 2B. Explain the following with their syntax that is if else, else if ladder, for statement, do while statement. Okay, straight away. 10 marks for this 2A question, 2B. Again, it carries for 10 marks. So, module 2. 3A, define structure. How do you uh, declare and initialize structure variables? Give examples. Okay, 10 marks. 3B. Write a C, C program to read details of 10 students, okay, 10 students and print the marks of the student if his name is given as input using structures, okay, 10 marks or 4A, write a C program to pass structure variable as function argument, 10 marks, 4B, explain structures within structure with programming examples, okay, 10 marks. So now let's see module 3. IA, what is pointer? Give the advantages and disadvantages of pointers in C. Okay, 10 marks. 5B, how do you declare a pointer variable? I write a program to show a call by reference function. Okay, 10 marks. 6A, what is recursion? Write a recursive program to find the factorial of a number. 10 marks. Okay, 6B, write a C program to read two matrices. Okay, they are just asking two matrices. And to find the sum by passing using passing rs to functions. Okay, now let's see the seventh question. Model 4, damn easy guys. Carry out the conver conversion as follows. Okay, here you need to convert decimal to binary and your binary to octal and I think hexadecimal to decimal followed by octal to hexadecimal. Okay, let's just check this, you know. Okay, then 7B, okay, straight away 10 marks and then 7B carry out the following fun, uh, operations. Okay, this is uh, 5250321 uh, using 10's complement. Okay, minus, uh, yeah, then 20 minus 1000 using 9's, nine's complement and this number using 2's complement and this number using 1's complement. Okay, again carries for 10 marks. Or Convert the following, okay? Do check it, guys. I'm not going to read it out. Do check it. Okay, you can just pause a video and then take a screenshot, okay? 8B, define binary uh, logic. Explain three basic operations of binary logic with their truth tables, pen marks. Then comes um, model 5, 9A, with any diagram, explain the uh, basic functional unit of a computer, 8 marks. 9B, explain big. Indian and little Indian assignments. Okay, 8 marks. 9C, explain the basic instruction types. 4 marks. Then what are condition codes? Explain various condition code flags. 10 marks. Then 10 base, explain any 5 addressing modes. Okay, 10 marks. Okay, this is the total objective of today's video. I hope this video was useful. Okay, you can take the screenshot by pausing the video in between. Okay, this is the overall objective of today's video. All the very best for your, for your exams, okay? Thank you all. Let's meet in upcoming videos.